Welcome to Malaysian Agriculture, the sector for profitable business ventures with sustainable profits. Malaysia is blessed with an abundance of agricultural biodiversity. Historically, Malaysia is an agrarian country and has seen the development of the agricultural sectors and the burgeoning agro-based industries on many levels. In the 70s, Malaysia's agricultural base was on rice production, fishery and forestry. However, some rice production areas began to decline due to shortage of labor, poor infrastructure support and, to a certain extent, the weather. This was made worse when emphasis was towards manufacturing. In the 80s, deep sea fishing was encouraged and given support due to the over-exploitation of the inshore waters. The heavy emphasis on R&D on cocoa and oil palm resulted in these commodities becoming Malaysia's main export earners. Beginning in the 90s, agriculture was the major contributor to our GDP, with oil palm contributing the most. Technologies generated through the R&D of Malaysian research institutions and universities resulted in better quality agriculture produce and products that are highly competitive in the international market. With the increases in agricultural demand, labor and production costs, agricultural land, water and infrastructure can be the limiting factors towards increase in the crop and manufacturing productivity. Due to the financial crisis in the year 2000, the agriculture-based industry was declared as the new engine of growth for the Malaysian economy. Technologies from R&D emphasizing on agricultural in-crop production and management approaches were aggressively sought to strengthen the agricultural sector and to explore more long-term profitable strategies. The Ministry of Agriculture is the catalyst towards agricultural transformation and is effectively made up of three departments and eight agencies. The challenges of agriculture are the generation and adoption of new technologies, production cost, and lack of land and infrastructure support. To develop and strive, the national agricultural sector needs to proactively address issues such as maintaining sustainable resources, attracting the cooperation of the private sectors, supporting farmers holistically, and to be able to supply high-quality products and in the quantity required to overseas markets. Many successful innovations have been developed, supporting our agricultural industry. Rubber and oil palm will continue to be the major contributor to our GDP. Timbers have been over-harvested, resulting in ecological damage to the forest. In 2005, to address the sustainability issue and aimed especially to the private sector, the forest plantation scheme was introduced. Technology to increase rice yield to more than 7.5 tons per hectare is available through the Rice Check Manual developed by Mardi and the Department of Agriculture. With new inputs like Gromax fertilizer developed by Mardi, the optimum yield of 10 tons can be easily achieved. University Putra Malaysia has created the V4 UPM vaccine to eradicate Newcastle disease in avian livestock. Vaccine developed for sheep and goats was an internasal spray to prevent pneumonic menhomosis. The East Coast Economic Region was created to develop an agropolitan hub for the herbs, fish and livestock cluster. It will cover all areas of agricultural development, such as providing high-quality planting materials, agricultural good practices and business mentoring. A one-stop center for herbs that include collection, processing, certification, accreditation, packaging and marketing through business matching growers and manufacturers will be established. Another major development supporting the agricultural industries is the Promotion on Investment Act. It gives attractive incentives for potential investors such as pioneer status, investment tax allowance and various other packages. Present-day agriculture needs to be transformed through the adoption of modern farming approaches and technologies to be highly competitive in the international markets. Competitiveness in agriculture is through the reduction of production cost, use of environmental-friendly agricultural inputs and compliant to the food safety standards. 
Transpalatia requires knowledgeable farmers, large farm, estate farming and farm mechanization. Agriculture produce confined to food safety can be produced through the adoption of System Amalan Ladang Malaysia, Salam, developed by the Department of Agriculture, and System Amalan Ladang Ternakan, Salt, developed by the Department of Veterinary Services. The use of ICT in food safety and quality can be monitored by application of a computerized halal trace and track system. The system can track and trace that the food from farm to table through the processing supply chain is compliant to the halal and food safety requirement standards. Our national biodiversity treasures possess genes that can be exploited in crop improvement and crop protection purposes. The ability to exploit our genetic biodiversity resources can generate many investment opportunities, especially in herbal remedies, nutraceutical and pharmaceutical. Through new biotechnology approaches, wider range of agriculture products can be introduced to the market. This will generate new agriculture businesses through smart partnerships between local and international entrepreneurs.